Hello friends and welcome to episode 4 of Storyteller Plays Lunacid. In the last episode, we explored the sewers for a bit and we got a girlfriend or whatever. If you want to know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to go watch the previous episode. But, I can run higher, or run further and jump higher now. Which means I can get into this place, even without wind dash, which I was fully prepared to have to use. Welcome to the Forbidden Archives. What's archived here? I don't know. I can't fucking read. Hmm, it's not an invisible door. Or a secret door. Can I jump into there? Uh, nope. Not gonna let me in. Would be a really fast way to get to the, uh... Surface of the Great Well. But it would be cheating. Would it, though? Let's get in touch this. Might as well save while I'm here. I don't think I have any black books. Uh, so let's charge up my spell. Ah, didn't make it. Made it safely to the ground, though. Which is totally what I was trying to do. Let's go ahead and take out all these snails. Oh, you get back here. Look me in the eye, coward. Wasn't expecting you to survive that. Rest in pieces. Ow. I didn't notice that that one was still alive. So what did you get for not paying attention, I suppose? Rest in pieces. Yeah, so there's a guy down here. This dude. Who, if I give him a black book, he'll teach me a new spell. Which is pretty nifty. I think one of them is the spell I was talking about in the last episode. One moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes my file explorer just opens itself. Okay, so it's immune to the poison. Or partially. Or is it immune to the fire? Yeah, it seems to be immune to the fire. Nope, yep, what are you gonna do without your lion head, sucker? This chimera just makes me want to play, um, Dragon's Dogma. I should probably let my health restore, but I don't think there's anything too dangerous between here and where I'm going. Wherever I'm going. Actually, I don't know why I'm here yet. There's an amulet that you get in the, uh... Vampire castle place that allows you to open a door around here. So I should probably just find my way back out of here until I'm able to fully explore. I'm also sure this place has secrets that not even I'm aware of. I've played a lot on my other character. I've played a lot on my other save. But, I'm actively not trying to spoil things for myself, so... I'm not looking up secrets. Okay, just gotta get back to the crystal. Well, that was a big circle. Oh, there's an item over there I missed. And a health pot here. Health vial acquired. More snails. Good chance I can't actually use the elevator because I jumped down here rather than getting down here safely. But we shall see. Fairy moss, yum. Probably just used an alchemy as I'm getting stuck repeatedly. If you came to watch a Let's Play of somebody who knows what they're doing play Lunacid, uh, I'm not that Let's Play. Okay, so there are weird brainstem things in here. You'd also think there'd be secret doors. But if there are, they're pretty well hidden. It's just a snail. Have I been through here? That snail looks pretty dead. Hmm, yes. Also, that snail has something for me. Mmm, ten cents. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I gotta find my way out of here. Found the elevator. It was really close to where I already was. No secret doors. Going up on a Tuesday. Oh, it's one of those floating brains. 
Now I think these books are hostile because I already attacked the uh, weird nervous system. Rest in pieces. Ocean bone shell. If you think about it, shells truly are just the bones of the ocean. Not the bones in the ocean. That's a different thing. I don't know what I'm on about. Do be saying stuff, though. Whoa there, buddy. That could've hurt. Ow. That did hurt. But I won. Alright. Still lost. All of these bookshelves look suspicious. Okay, where the hell am I? There's a snail. I think I'm approaching the door that I need the amulet I was just talking about to open. Yeah. How did I end up in such a large circle? Trying to get out of this place, not further into it. Oh, a book? History of the Ages, Volume 20, Excerpt 2. Prince Srirlal, the son of great Queen Justinia, Fanu, and renowned knight Ophelia, took over as regent when his mothers, uh, when his mothers entered into a thousand years sleep. I can't read. Not so lucky bastard having two mothers. Hmm, is this how I came up here? I like how I'm like, I'm not lost. <laughs> Still super lost. Don't mind me. What's this? Uh, light reveal. What does that do? Does it show me secret doors? I could really use a spell that shows me secret doors. Rest in pieces. Inventory. Wind dash. Light reveal surrounds the target and the caster and light to reveal its attributes. A complex light spell used by scouts during the crusades. Alright, so that just shows me enemy health. Not useful. I could really use an item that just shows me where uh, secret doors are. The alternative being I just rub my face on everything. Alright, this place looks promising. Aha! That's what I was trying to cheat to. Probably could have done it if I had Stone Bridge. Where do I get Stone Bridge from? Anyway, let's go muck about in the castle. The Sanguine Sea. Much better name for it than just Lake of Blood. Although there is a spell around here that I want. That's just some weird blood leech. There's the ring I'm looking for. If this is what I think it is, it's also super overpowered. Couldn't tell you why I'm jumping. It's just who I am as a person. Are you... Summon fairy? Yes. Let's go ahead and put that on. Now this spell actually does not cost too much to cast. Yeah, that cost almost nothing. And let's go see how powerful this fairy creature is. Sick it, fairy! Sometime this week, maybe I gotta attack it first. Go, fairy, go! It's not doing much. Let's summon, like, 12 more. Can I only have three fairies? Seems to be the case. I've definitely had more fairies before, so it's either based on a stat, what has been nerfed without me checking. If there's anything that it makes sense to nerf though, I suppose it was the fairies. And there's the castle I'm heading towards. Not making very good pace, so I'm going to just skip to it. And here we are, in Castle Lefanu. And I don't know why I consumed a mana potion, because I could just touch this. It's not like I don't have enough to waste, though. And the fewer you have, the cheaper they are to just buy. Rest in pieces. 
Ectoplasm, these things can also drop a rare sword. I've never gotten them to do it. Ow. But I have checked out the weapons in this game. And I know they've got one of them. How do I? There we go. Oh yeah, I've got the stone club. Let's go ahead and harvest some flowers. I'll eventually figure out how alchemy works, and then these flowers will be beneficial to have. Why didn't you pick this one up? There we go. Moon petals. Perfect. What you doing over here, buddy? Talk. Salutations, little lambkin. I am Sir Garot the Hound. I am on my way to kill the lord of this castle. Not if I do it first. But I've ran into, a, into, ran into a bit of a conundrum. I can't figure out how to open the main gate. I feel so foolish. How does it work, I wonder? Easy, you gotta give it some blood. Actually, the main gate, you don't give blood. But if you come over here... This little door, it's like, oh... Castle cells. How do I open it? Just give it a bit of blood. I don't know where it tells you to do that. But I figured it out by screwing around. I guess this is a vampire castle. But who tells you that? Oh, the walls are dripping blood. And by walls, I mean ceiling. Good adventurers always go left. Hello? It's just a corpse. I don't get anything for bleeding into the grate. I'd imagine they've got blood collection barrels or something down there. A nice, fine, sanguine, aged to perfection. I'd imagine it would just coagulate. I'd also imagine that the vampires don't care because they're starved. Rest in pieces, poor creature. Can also feed them, so that they're no longer starved. And yeah, let's feed the next one. Might as well. Just the one? All right. Have some blood, little buddy. Here, have more. A little bit more. Ah. Still says starved. Could have sworn at some point they were less starved. It did get faster, though. Just in here feeding vampires to see what will happen. Consume and grow strong. I suppose I'll just kill them. As I'm supposed to. Do you think they would chase me if I was also a vampire? Surely vampires can't just drink other vampire blood. Because then you could just get an infinite source of blood and just having two vampires sucking on each other. I've seen out of that, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Let's go. We already know how to open doors like that, but what is in this direction? Huh. Hello? Uh, to whoever finds me, I was at my end. I couldn't survive any longer without transmuting myself. And take me out of this prison and you'll find I can be of service. Therish Bunch, Spell Sword of the Golden Lance. Summon Ice Sword, acquired. I guess this guy turned himself into an Ice Sword. Oh, hey there. What if I feed you? Does it heal you? Yeah, it just heals them. Got it. I thought at some point they became stronger and no longer starved. Maybe I just haven't fed them enough. Worth a try. Welcome to episode 4 of Storyteller Plays Lunacid, in which I spent 30 minutes feeding a vampire. Just to see what happens. Alright, I do think this is basically the end of the dungeon. So, let's go ahead and open that door. I'm kind of talking over it for the most part, but uh, this music is a bop. Hello? Get down, you're on fire! Stop, drop, and roll! They almost look like Nosferatu. Oh, I can poke myself on those things. Does not do a lot of damage, though. Oh, this vampire's got a sword. 
Not even starved. I wonder if they drop their sword. I've said before, but a lot of enemies holding weapons can drop them. The ectoplasm, despite not holding a weapon, can also drop a weapon. Unless somebody planted it on the ectoplasm, it's like, oh, I mean, I killed it in self-defense. Let's see what good your sword does when I can just fight you from a distance. I'd like to see the Zephyr Blade, or whatever it's called, do that. Does it have a ranged attack? I know that Moonlight does. I have both on my other character. Also, I think I just picked up a Vampire Amulet. Which I need to open doors. I don't think I even have to have it equipped. I think just having it on my person does the trick. Huh. Well, I guess that's the only reason for coming in here. Let's go open the main gate. And show that dude who I've already forgotten the name of how it's done. Just gotta leave your comfort zone a little bit. I actually don't like the color red, but these red fires are kind of pretty. Would be super ineffectual, but it kind of makes you wonder if you could have purple fire. And it's like, check out my sweet new purple lamps, and it's like, nice, I can't see shit. <laughs> and blue light is pretty effective. I'd imagine purple light is not. Would be cool, though. Rest in pieces. Okay, so, uh, nope, it's not over here. Can I climb this grate? Or not grate, buttress, whatever this is. Roop. Ah. Almost. I can probably get up there. Um, barrier. Equip barrier. There I go, barrier. Whoop. Uh-oh. Uh, slipping! It's almost like the game doesn't want me up here. Alright. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, well. Might as well stop screwing around. Let's go open that door. Do I have any dark magic on me? Probably not. I don't have a lot of spells on this character. So I'll show off the puzzle after I get a dark spell. If I can ever remember how. Probably just have to go back and explore places I've haven't explored yet in this Let's Play. What's this? Nothing. Or at least nothing I can open by just spitting blood at it. Okay, I've been out here before. This music is also a bop. Rest in pieces. Ah. It would not let me drink from the fountain. I'm not a vampire, so it would just poison me, but still. Playing through this castle does make me want to create a vampire to see if there's any special interactions in this area. You'd think there would be. Vampires can drink blood and all that. Rest in pieces. This castle has a lot of, uh, branching paths and dead ends. Oh, it's a bat. I mean, it's very clearly not a bat, but that's what the game's calling it. Some Seems somebody ripped off its wings for some reason. I would like to see what one of these great bats looks like with its wings. I'd imagine very similar, but, you know, big... Ooh. Oh no, I write this letter feverently, uh, my sweet Ophelia, for its presence, or uh, for it presents itself, love, I can't read. Some kind of weird fervent love letter. Possibly not even a love letter. If you want to read it yourself, you can pause it. I should read it, but I don't have that kind of energy. Can I turn these on by bleeding on them? Nope. 
I'm just going around casting blood magic on random items. It's like, yeah, some asshole broke into the vampire castle and it just started bleeding on everything. And what's that way? Another corridor. This place looks pretty dead endy. Light urn. Interesting, don't need them. I'd imagine they'd be pretty effective against vampires, though. Hello? Well, this place looks awfully familiar. I've been down here before. Did I go up last time? Is that where I went? Am I just going in even larger circles? Yeah, that's a dead vampire. I've been up here before. Probably want to be this way. Well, I've not been this way before. Looks like there's only some wine on that table. Whoops. My eyes! And when I say wine, I mean blood wine. Give me this. I can't drink it, but I am a hoarder of stuff. Alright, so that was a huge loop. Now yeah, that just leads back outwards. So I probably want to be up there. I just want to not get lost. Yeah, I don't have the blue amulet yet. Oh well, let's go back in. There's only so many branching paths. Have I been through here? No, does not look like it. Rest in pieces, poor vampire. Oh, I can destroy these. I even get something out of it. Bloodwed. That's a bloodweed. What the fuck is wrong with me? Come on, break that one too. Break it. There we go. Didn't actually help this statue any. Drink, drink. Drink and grow strong. Actually, it would just poison me, but you'd think the option would be there. I can never learn from my mistakes if you don't let me make them in the first place. Darn game, helicopter parenting me. Yeah, blah, blah. Dear lady, I've read your words again and again, for it brings me unforeseen delight to hear that you have finally beaten your family curse. I ride now, from our great battlefield on the outskirts of to your estate. I will have this steed fly like it has never before, but I presume the raven which brings this letter might arrive sooner. Ophelia of Lyria. I don't know why Ophelia sounds like a dude, bro. Failed. Ooh, pretty. Also, a fountain I might be able to actually drink from. Yes. I can drink the holy water. Can't drink the blood. I'd imagine vampires are allowed to drink the blood, but should can't drink the holy water. I don't know, I'm not a vampire. Do I look like somebody who knows things? I know like four things and two of those are Casablanca references. Anyway, I can now open these blue doors. Might as well open both in case I somehow get lost. Let's go up the stairs and to the left. To the left. Everything I own in a box to the left. It's a good thing my fucking... My, what's wrong with me? It's a good thing my uh, staff provides so much light. Wrong button. Place is pretty dark without it. Anyway, these ghosts here are extremely... Um, what's the name of the... What's the name of the castle in Bloodborne? Kanehurst. They're also not that weak to fire magic. Just break your stuff. Take out my, uh, sledge. Dear diary, oh how sweet and joyous it is, but still difficult division and melancholy fills my still heart. With one bite, merely a simple drop of blood, I overcame my family curse. If only I had found this gift sooner, I could not be the last Fanu, or I would not be the last Fanu. Come on, break it. I'm going to assume that the uh, Fanu family was cursed to be vampires. But they didn't partake in the human blood. 
so they all died. Except whoever. The one that's not Ophelia. She did drink human blood. But how'd she figure it out? The Golden Lance has finally broken Castle Lefanu. While their last army was a pitiful, hopeless display of combat, they won. I have sealed the worst of their damage away using the Clock Tower. Oh, that's what that opens. Yeah, you can cast Dark Magic at the Clock Tower and it opens something. I actually already forgot what, but it's that door. that It opens that door. Uh-oh. Several poltergeists. Ow. Oh, I've been cursed. I can't actually do anything. Except flee. Good, I can still use blood magic. And the curse has worn off. Come on, Phantom, stop burning. Whoa, there. One at a time, ladies. I am probably a floating severed hand. Hmm. Where'd it go? It's definitely still around. Chair. There she is. And she's finally dead. Honestly, worst source of ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Might as well just kill those weird floating things. They don't take nearly as many hits. What do we have in here? Any secret doors? Or secret doors? My kingdom for more secret doors. Nope. I'm ever just the weirdo dragging their face across the f walls. I would like to see what that looks like in third person, but like I said, I'm pretty sure I don't have a body. No, that's where I came from. I don't have any dark magic, but I will show off the, uh, thing I keep bringing up. Nothing. I think there'd be a way to open that. Ooh, an elevator. You know what? I know where that goes, and I don't even have the thing I need, so I'm not gonna do it. I know where to get it. Probably should have done that at some point. I will, of course, show off what I'm talking about, but I'm going to be as vague as possible. For the lulls. Hello? That's right, I knew you were a cursed painting before you moved. Gotta be careful with that weird blue fire thing they drop. It can do damage, does not do a lot of damage, but it does, like, darken the screen, which is a huge pain. Ooh, thank you, don't mind if I do, sippy sip. Odd, ah, they're weirdly weak to blood. You'd think they wouldn't be, considering they're cursed paintings. That requires green, which I do not have. This, I think, t just takes me to the basement, which is where I want to go. So let's go this way first. This is oddly nothing. I don't think. Yeah, nothing. Let's see here. Dearest diary, I am a one of those with this grift. Uh, I read of those with this gift before. Oh, but the sun. Uh, ha! If they knew that it would become that, uh, what would become of that dim orb behind the fog, Ophelia found this uh, amusing as well. I have yet to bestow her with this, a burden, or burden her so. She is so delicate to serving as a, er, dedicated to serving as a knight that she pledged for it immediately. Or pleaded for it immediately. Oh, that's a pledge. 
But that is not uh, what I long for. Ophelia, there are none who stand above us now, none to take away our kinship, no reason left not to pursue happiness in your arms and in your kisses. I must know that she feels the same before sharing this gift. I cannot stand to wait a lifetime. All right. Ooh, a purple potion. Ocean elixir. And this is the whispering statue. Yeah, I've got a whole video that just plays that without the music. So if you want to hear what it's saying, go watch that video. I will probably link it somewhere if I can figure out how. If you don't care, then don't. You know, it's just like a 30-second video. It's not going to waste too much time, but I get it. Don't know what I'm on about anymore. Let's go. Into the basement. This isn't a basement. Here we go. This looks more basementy. There's probably vampires and bats down here. Whoa there, great bat. Whoa there, great bat. I didn't know you had ranged spells. Pretty easy to dodge, though. Yeah, I know your tricks. Rest in peace, is Poltergeist. Oh, just another great bat. Ow. Are there secret doors around here? Pretty big basement not to have any secret doors. Look at all these walls that could house secret doors. But low, nothing. I just wanted to say but low. Alright, there's a whatever the hell that is. Malformed. You can say that again. Mm, symbol E, which is emerald. Which means I can now open the green doors, too. Honestly, I just needed the blue amulet to open the door in um, the Forbidden Archives. Hello, shortcut. Oh yeah, I know where that is. So where does this go? Now loading. Uh, the Boiling Grotto. Yeah, uh, let's see if I can't find a crystal here, and then I'll just head back up to the castle. I want to be here for reasons, but I don't want to be here right now. Hmm. Oh, well, I've got the amulet, which means I can just head back whenever. Teleport to the castle. So I don't not want to be here. Oh, here's a little crystal that will allow me to warp. And for some reason I feel super stuck here. Fire coral, huh? The hell is that? Who'd have thought they're immune to fire? Ew, gross. Don't tentacle slap me. All right, I'll have to keep my eyes open for those. I've definitely been here before, but it's been a while since I've played. If I was a warp crystal, where would I be? There we go. Save. Level up. I think there's a secret door here. Yep. I'm going to teleport out of here shortly. We just want to say hello to an old friend first. Hello there, Cheryl the Crow. Never thought I'd see you down here, Satu. Alive, that is. I come here now and again to restock my wares. Oh, and I've been trying for ages to get that golden armor off Hicket. If you ever manage it, I'll reward you in exchange. Here, uh, he's some sort of macabre pilgrimage site now. Uh, but no one's been down here for some time. Anyway, fancy a new trinket? Sure, what you're selling. Just health and mana. I'll go ahead and exit the shop. 
Yeah, so there's this guy over here. You need, like, a special fire spell to get him out of there. No effect. But I do not have that special fire spell. I'm pretty sure you get it down here. So that'll be an adventure for another episode. Where'd that secret door go? Here it is. Also, you can get to the, um... Battle tower around here somewhere. Whoop. To unlock Moonlight, which I will do. Just obviously not in this video. This video is going to be ending shortly-ish. Excuse me, Phantom. I'm very busy. Let me in. I can now open this. No, not that. I can open this, but I think that's where I just was. So how do I open this actual door? Oh, never mind. This isn't where I just was. This way leads to the boss fight. Boss fight! Pretty sure I saved. Mm, yes, the throne chamber. Barrier, let me replace it with. Summon Fairy. No, I think... Yep, here he is. This guy's in here. Haha, <laughs> I got my fight, and I almost lost myself to it. The Prince of Wings of the Dark Son of Justinian Ophelia. I thought he was just a story. Oh, I'll be alright. I just need some rest first. Don't worry, I'll go in there and avenge you. Why do you disturb me? What is a man? I suffer more fools. Oh, you have no idea how foolish I am. Get him, fairies! Can I have your sword? It's like the opposite of my vampire hunter sword. I think I get a sword like that. I wonder if he'd be more friendly to me if I was a vampire. Yeah, I can't seem to summon 30 fairies at once anymore. I'll have to check on my main save to see if I still can. It could be a stat thing, not just a nerf. I suppose I could also check the change notes. Those would tell me. Get them, my fairies. Just have to periodically refresh them. Also, I want wings. Y'all are pretty bad at this whole actually hitting him thing, aren't you? Go ahead and consume this. And ferry up. Watch it only replace the last ferry, so I'm just kind of wasting MP. And perish. I keep missing. Don't actually watch the video. Just assume based on all the noise, very, yeah, noise going on. And the fact that I'm chattering, that I'm doing well. Where is he? Oh, I'm going to respawn some fairy. Call himself the Dark Prince of Wings, but is on fire, making him very bright. Enough. You may pass. What if what I wanted is to kill you? Hmm. Mirage revealed. Can I not just sit near throne? Where is he if I just want to chat? Hello, would you like to exchange a few words? I'm not digging in your coffin or nothing. Black book? Hell yeah! That's one of the things I need for the what's-his guy. Those are words. I English good. Now, if I remember correctly, I can't even go this way in the demo. 
Prison Arena. Alas, this is the end of development, but perhaps secrets remain elsewhere. Oh, a lot remains elsewhere. I kind of ignored most of the game. I suppose ignored isn't the correct word for it. But I am a dork. Definitely a dork. You did it, my friend! I can't believe it. I must venture deeper still to the Grand Warrior's Arena. There I will reach my goal, the ultimate combatant. Good luck. Perhaps our paths will cross again. It'll be like a Pokemon red, blue, yellow situation. Where you get down there, become the next Grand Combatant, and then we show up five minutes later to kick your ass. Becoming the champion ourselves. I could have sworn there was something else to do in here, but I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell. I'm just, I'm just checking all these walls. Nope, nothing secret. Okay, yeah, bye.